Excel workbooks can only be opened up and changed and edited by one person at a time. Of course, other people may open it up while you have it open, but all they can do at best is view it and not actually be able to make changes at the same time that you do. If you want to be able to have numerous people open it up at the same time and make those changes, we want to be able to share the workbook here. To share it, go under the Tools menu and go down and click on Share Workbook. First thing you want to do is on the Editing tab, check the box that allows the changes by more than one user at the same time. Then click on the Advanced tab and make the changes that, that are necessary for your workbook. I mean, how long do you want to keep track of those changes in the history of this workbook? When do you want this workbook to update? In other words, if there's five other people that are in the DF payroll that you see here at the same time, when they make changes, how do I want it to update on my side? How do I want to see that? When I select when file is saved, what that means is that if they make all these changes, I won't see it until I click the save button on my end and then it automatically updates those changes on the workbook that I'm looking at while I'm sharing with everybody else. Or you can do it automatically every 15 minutes. I'm going to stay with file is saved. And then if there are conflicting changes, like I make one change and somebody else at the same time makes another, do you want to ask me which change is when or do I want the changes being saved to when? I'll leave it as the default to ask me and then I'll go ahead and click OK. Now when I click OK, it's going to say we're going to save this workbook and the reason why it's going to save the workbook is because it's going to now set it so it's shared. So when I click OK, you'll notice up at the top in brackets it says it's shared. So once I get my workbook to share, I'm now going to click on the Save As or go File to Save As and put it on my network. Now I'm going to click on my computer and since I don't have a network, an S drive or an X drive or anything like that, I'm just going to double click and put it on the C drive and call it. And then when I'm done, I'm going to click OK. Now, anybody who has access to my C drive, maybe other users on this computer, or if it was an S drive, anybody within the office here, after I save it, can now go ahead into that, double click, open it up, and more than just one person if the whole company wants to get on it. Of course, keep in mind if you have more than like, I don't know, 20 or 30 users, the more users, it slows the system down as it tries to update everything. Once it's saved, it's now shared. Now let's pretend that I'm a user that's going to access that C drive. It could be an S drive in your case, whatever network drive. So I'm going to close out of here. I'm on my desktop and i just been told that I can access uh, the DF payroll for my computer with everybody else. So I'm going to double click on my computer, go to the C drive, double click on that. Well there is the shared DF payroll so I double click and open it up and then I can start typing in any information that I want. Now once I'm done typing and making changes, for example I'll delete maybe some people don't have dental or medical, and I click save. The moment I click save, two things happen. First of all it saves the information. And then, of course, if anybody's making changes on my end, the moment that I click Save, it'll automatically pull in those changes that others have made. It'll tell me the workbook has been updated with any changes made by other users. Click OK, and there you can see all the changes that have been made. Not only does it show the changes, but for changes that may be a little bit too subtle, like a zero dollar amount, or maybe the gross amount is just a dollar less than what it used to be, you can see how it outlines it in a different color by one user. If there are more than other users at the same time, each user would have a different color when I click Save, outlining the changes that they've made. All I have to do is hover over it, and it will tell me who made the change. It was Dreamforce. It tells me the time, the date. It also told me that it changed the cell I7 from equaling the formula G7 times H7 to zero dollars. Or in this case fired, it used to be the date, the hiring date, and then also the fired, it used to be the social 1575587. Anyways, the social security number. The other cool thing about this is, is that, well, when I'm done, I can click off in a blank area, and if I click save or I type in anything and hit enter, it'll automatically clear those boxes because Excel thinks that, well, I already noticed the changes made, so the outline in blue disappears by the user. Now, if I can't remember, maybe the changes aren't as uh, big as this, you know, the big fired term, and I want to go back and track the changes that have been made and decide whether or not to accept them or reject them, remember we have a history about these changes up to about, well, as many as 30 or 90 days, however far back we want to go to. If you can't remember exactly what cells the changes were made, well, go under the Tools menu, go down to Track Changes, and then go over and down and click on Accept or Reject Changes. When you do that, it wants to save your workbook and click OK and then give it a second. And then you get the options now. You want to be able to accept or reject changes. Which changes? The ones that haven't been reviewed yet by you? Or you can click on the drop down arrow and say since a certain date. And then it's got the latest date that's been changed so it's going to default to today's date here which is August the 12th. 
so I'll say not reviewed yet and then just simply click OK and it tells me and I'll move this around and you can see the box there it says that I have made the change and it tells me it changed it from DM to a blank cell do I want to accept or reject that change well if I reject the change it'll put DM back in that cell as you can see right there the old value is D I can reject that and it puts D back and I'll keep going through this and saying let's reject these and then it goes over to the change from Dreamforce on the network that says, well, it used to be a social. What if I didn't want him fired? I can reject that and put a social back in, reject that, reject, reject, and continue, obviously, to do so until I feel comfortable with all the rejects here. And then when I'm finished, it's done. The only thing that doesn't reject is if he did any special formatting like B for bold or used a larger font. It's actually doing the values themselves. And remember, anytime you have pound signs within a column, it means that you want to click and stretch that column open in order to see the data. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.